Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today's lunch choices are spaghetti and meat sauce, grilled cheese, tossed salad, seasoned peas, assorted fruit cup, seasonal fresh fruit, flavored low-fat milk, and skim milk. Let's take it today's weather report with Corey. Right now it is 53 degrees with a 10% chance of participation with some fog. Later today it will be 78 degrees. In Current temperatures in Miami, it's 67 degrees, and in Los Angeles, it is 45 degrees. It's a little bit cooler than yesterday. In current weather, in our area, there is a stationary front, and we have fog in South Florida. In low pressure areas, there's one in Pacific Ocean and in the West. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Corey. This week's PBS Leaders of the Week are Miss to Miss Jerkins in third grade. Her birthday is today. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Now let's take it to Felicia with the answer for this week's All Buzz About Math Brain Teacher for this for kindergarten through second grade. Yellow Jackets, Miss Wells Kindergarten Class. And for the big surprise, we are all giving them silly bands to wear in style. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Felicia. Walkathon money is due by Friday to the PTO. Jump rope for heart will begin on March 17th. Get ready for a new segment, Thoughtful Thursday. Here's an uplifting video about kids in Haiti rebuilding their lives through art. After the earthquake, I didn't really know how to speak about what was going on and what happened because I saw so many of my friends and so many people that were close to me that were under the rubble. How could I explain something like this? We started drawing a lot of pictures about what we saw and what was going on during that day. So my picture spoke for me. Being inside this foundation and doing what I do every day, something I like. I really don't think about the earthquake. What they needed, what, they, what it took a long time for them to understand was that this is a safe place. Our criteria were that That the child could not be eating on a regular basis, had never attended school, and that was the start. So the first children that we found were children found on the street. My name is Judy Hoffman. I'm founder and president of Art Creation Foundation for Children in Jacques Mel. Everybody inside is like friends and family. They take care of us, they feed us. They help me with my schoolwork. If we ask them to do something for us, they will do it for us. And if they ask for me to do something, I would do it too. What I love about the foundation is the artwork that I get to do. When I'm inside working and doing a project, it helps me and the other kids just kind of escape from whatever problems that we have on the outside. 
This video is brought to you by Nick News. Let's take it to our very own sports reporters, McCray and McKenzie. Hello and welcome to another edition of WCSS Sports Center. I'm McKenzie. And I'm McCray. Last night, number one, Duke beat Temple 76-61, with the last part saying Duke would never get back to number one, but Isaiah was way wrong, with Duke moving up to number one overnight. With a close game last night, it was Notre Dame and Providence. The score was 94-93, to with Notre Dame taking the win. Let's take it back. Let's take that's it for today's edition of WCSS Sports Center. Let's take it back to the studio, Dorothy and Livio. Thanks, guys. We need more kids to buy pledge leaders yellow jackets. Come on, yellow jackets. A slip for a pledge leader is only 60 buzz bucks, and you get a to lead in the pledge for two weeks. Now for today in history. Here's a look at this day in history. February 24th. In 1903, the United States acquired a new naval station at Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. On this day in 1946, Juan Perón was elected president of Argentina. He would rule with his popular first lady, Evita. This day in 1981, the engagement of Britain's Prince Charles to Lady Diana Spencer was announced. Shy Di would later evolve into the glamorous People's Princess. And on this day in 1836, Colonel William Travis had a desperate request from the Alamo. His troops were battling Mexico for Texas independence when their fort was surrounded. Outnumbered, Travis dispatched a note for backup, but it was too late. The battle was lost. However, Texans will always remember the Alamo. And that's this day in history. That's all for today, Call the Yellow Jackets. Remember our motto, make the most of every minute. And, and we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow.